What's going on? How are you? Um, I got these crazy jeans. I ordered them online. I had no idea that they had the knees visible, but I kind of dig them. I think they're cool. What do you think? Comment below. Um, but the reason for this video is one of the questions I get asked all the time from people that follow Kino Body is, you know, Greg, um, I've, I've watched your videos. I understand what you're saying. You know, you make the best possible gains training every other day, you know, on non-consecutive days, three days a week. And a lot of these people have experienced these incredible gains where they've gone from lifting five, six times a week down to three times. For example, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, their lifts shot up, their physiques have improved. It's mind blowing. I've had, I have thousands of comments over the course of all my videos and thousands of more comments on my blog of people um, sharing this. The amount of crazy gains they've got from training three days a week instead of five or six, which is crazy because it's like, what? I'm training less, I'm making better results. No, that's the, the truth. Because you get much better, um, you get much better recovery. Your central nervous system recharges. So when you go to the gym, you're able to use more muscle than you're capable of when you train like every single day. Um, so naturally, one of the questions I get is something along the lines of, um, you know, Greg, I want to play some sports, and I'm worried. You know, I'm worried. Am I allowed to do uh, to play to play sports? Um, because that's technically exercise, and, and and I don't know if I'm allowed to do that. And so people ask me like questions like, how do I fit in um, lifting with hockey or basketball or martial arts? And actually, on a call I did recently, on a coaching call I did recently with Redu for my mastery program, someone asked this question. And so we dug into it and we shared our thoughts on the matter. So if you guys want to watch this, the clip will come on pretty shortly. Um, but just think one thing to keep in mind is the idea of this channel, the idea of this brand of Kino Body is to give you freedom. It's to make things easier, it's to give you way more freedom and liberation in your life because so often, you know, so many people in the fitness industry make things complicated and they make it really confusing and they make it hard and they make it this huge obsession, this full-time job. And I don't want that. I want you to feel the liberation that I feel, you know? Um, when I say that you'll make the best results strength training three days per week, that doesn't mean you can't go and play sports on the other days or even on your strength training day. Of course you can, you know? But anyways, we'll get into this video in a second, so enjoy it. The nutrition question. I enjoy physical activities for leisure, such as uh, like your martial arts, um, such as parkour. Parkour is pretty uh, high intensity in nature. I do some obstacles, then rest uh, while my heart is racing. Oh, so high intensity interval training in nature. Uh, I don't want to overload my CNS and stop making gains on lifting days. How can I smartly program parkour or any sort of physical activity into my weekly routine without going overboard and hindering recovery for lifting days? What would Patrick Bateman do? I, I think I, I told people to, I get the best results lifting three days a week and people equate everything to lifting. I'm allowed to have sex on my rest days, you know? It's <laughs> you're cool, you're running around, you're doing some cool stuff, but that's not the same as getting a heavy weight and lifting it for five reps. So I think you're overthinking this one. I think just do some parkour on your rest days or your lift days and you're fine. I've been doing some intense kickboxing um, and I haven't found that to negatively affect my lifting days it's really just the heavy, intense strength work that you don't want to be doing every day. Yeah, I agree. It doesn't, cardio has been completely, uh, the, the, the effect of cardio on weightlifting has been very exaggerated in the bodybuilding, in the bodybuilding world. Uh, if, you, if you look at pro athletes, um, they are much muscular and much stronger than most guys in the gym and they do all sorts of training for their sports. That includes a lot of uh, high intensity interval training, a lot of endurance training, and uh, it doesn't hinder performance as much as people think. Yeah, so I, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think you're, yeah, you're fine, you're overthinking it, you know, but but um, some people wanna like do like a ton of stuff and they're like, it's like, you know, you don't need to go into any extreme, you know, like. Mm -hmm. You don't okay, want to, so if you're doing like three hours parkour every day, it might be a bit more challenging, but like. Yeah, yeah. I think that as a, as a safe, as a rule of thumb, um, you can do about three, three to four hours of uh, physical activity besides weightlifting without any negative, without negative effects or without 
thinking about it. I think that if you go, um, if you start doing more than that, that is when you need to think about how to program uh, those in your routine so it doesn't interfere with lifting. But um, if it's just three to four times a week, I think that you can do it uh, without thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now, just to finish off here, um, I want to share a cool story with you. Um, a few weeks ago, uh, no, maybe even a month ago, I kind of just felt like I was missing something in my life. You know, so much of my life was just, you know, building this business, this brand and creating content. And I was like, you know what, I, I want something else to go for. And, you know, a good friend and mentor of mine was like, dude, you know what, you know what you need to do? You know, you're so focused on, on your business and your, your you know, your, your kino body. It's like, you need to learn something new. And so uh, I was like, damn it, you're absolutely right. And he was like, what would you do right now? Like, what would you want to learn? I'm like, you know what? I used to do martial arts and I miss it so much. And he's like, why aren't you doing that? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, w w you could hire like an awesome coach and trainer and, tra and train you a couple days a week. Why aren't you doing that? I'm like, fuck, you're so right. And so the last month I've been training in, uh, in, Kickboxing. I've been doing some savat, some Muay Thai, some Filipino uh, martial arts, and because and, and, my instructor is awesome, he was in the SWAT team for 11 years, and he's trained extensively. Trained with even with uh, I think like Dan and Osanto. Like he's nuts. Dan and Osanto is one of the guys that trained with Bruce Lee. So I've had such a blast doing martial arts. And has it affected my strength gains? No, not at all. Of course not. There's a big difference between you know lifting heavy weight, exerting a lot of force, and more doing sort of like a cardio style workout where you're working on techniques and skills and you're moving around. You want to be able to do that stuff. You want to be an athlete. Now, sure, I've gone a long period of time just lifting and walking, but I'm starting to really think that find some other skill that you can pursue and learn that will fulfill you. You know, maybe for me it might be martial arts, for you it might be basketball, it might be, you know, hip hop dance, it might be volleyball, it might be so, like, there's so many things, but I think it's a disservice. You know, now I think it's a disservice just to get stuck into lifting and like just to get stuck into fitness and dieting and, and building your business. Find some skills you wanna learn. So I've had such a blast doing martial arts and you know what, I don't have, some crazy goal in mind of what I want to accomplish, you know. I'm not trying to become a UFC fighter. I don't want to, you know, I don't have any goal. I'm just loving the process. And that's a huge, huge lesson is that in the fitness journey and in our business lives, so often we get so focused on trying to get here. I want to get here. We become so outcome dependent that it destroys the beauty of the journey along the way. So when you are working on the fitness journey, when you are trying to build a business, remember that, honor the fact that, honor that present to present moment to moment experience. Love that process. Forget about for the second, for, for, for a second, forget about the fact that you wanna be able to make a million dollars a year, or forget about the fact that you wanna have this perfect Greek God body, and just have that love for what you're doing. For me, film this video right now, I'm not trying to get anything, I'm just having this enjoyment with sharing this content with you. You know, don't forget that. So, training in martial arts was amazing because it made me feel like a kid again, like learning new things and starting from the bottom is important. Um, but it also reminded me that it's so important just to love what you're doing and don't get so attached to like achieving something because that can derail you. When you're just so focused on the outcome, then you, it, 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 it ruins the, the, your ability to be present to the moment. And when you're present, that's when you're at your best. When I'm filming this video, if I was just thinking about what I want to accomplish from this video while filming it, it wouldn't be very good. But I'm just present here. And maybe the video is not that good, but you get my point. So if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to hit the like button. And I want you to have, I want you to leave with a little bit of clarity. I want you right now to think about, and if you're, maybe you're already doing this, if, if so, great. But if you're not, I want you to think about what would you really wanna learn? You know, maybe you wanna join a yoga class. Maybe you wanna take up, you know, mountain biking. Maybe you wanna find a martial art place in your city and you wanna do that. You know, find something that you wanna learn because it's so important. You know, when we're kids, we're, we're you know, we're, we're the sky's the limit. We're doing all this stuff. You know, we're, we're, we're doing cool stuff in school. You know, we're doing after school stuff. But then we become adults, we're just like, oh, just make money. And I got my family and my friends and that's it. It's like, fuck that, no. Grow, experience, conquer. That's it, bye. Left kick. Yeah, next one is right kick. Yes, nice. There it goes. Over, over, knee. Yeah. Cross, good, knee. Yeah. Cheap. Yeah, slip it. Boom. Oh, there you go. And up. Good.